Hello everyone. Um, welcome to Inside the USFL for week one and two. And I kind of want to show you how my um, my game went <laughs> week one. Uh, the Carolina Panthers, who's a former Super Bowl winner, and like I said, my antithesis in this in this in this league. We can't stand each other. We can't stand playing each other, but we like playing each other. Um, but uh, we had a we had a knockdown drag out game again and this is what happened to me you know i'm holding him i'm playing great on defense he again on offense he has a 99 throw power quarterback josh allen he has uh antonio brown which he just like spams all game and then he also has tyreek hill who can run you know faster than anybody on my team by far so he has a loaded loaded roster and melvin gordon back there in the backfield so he's got a loaded, loaded roster, but uh, with a minute and 40 seconds to go in the half, I get a little rush on him, and then my boy Pac-Man, who I said I was going to get in in certain situations where he can make plays, and he, he did. Thank you, Pac-Man. He made a play for me. Uh, let's fast forward. And then I wanted to, like, slowly get the ball in the end zone. I had some good runs by Le'Veon. And then with 43 seconds left, I'm, I'm just going to let this play out. With 43 seconds left, I'm looking and I'm trying to patiently get the ball in. I'm like, okay, 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 third down. And for some reason, I did not realize I didn't have any timeouts here. And I forgot about the clock. So watch the clock. I'm like just high five myself. It's a straight Jason Garrett move. Look at this. Look at the clock just tick, tick, tick. Dude, you're about to score. Dude, this is three points. This is three points. Dude, what are you doing? And right here, I figured it out. I was like, whoa. And I tried to hurry up out there, and I had the wrong play. And I was like, oh, my goodness, what play to do? And I um, just hiked the ball right with four seconds just so I can have a play. And I threw it in. And if Joe Hayden had any speed, that's my that's the um, – the, the tackle that I got that, that, that was uh, the air. but uh, that's the tackle I got that has set is like 79 speed so uh, so uh, he helped me out there tremendously so I got lucky there to have the game still at three nothing in the halftime and then you know it was another knockdown drive let me go to the end of it My score. Hey. I was just, I was being very patient. I was being very patient with uh, with, with uh, Le'Veon. Uh, I knew not to keep, just start start throwing the ball all over the place. I mean, I threw the ball of, of I think 14 passes. I threw 14 passes, which is which is kind of high for me to be honest against a player like that. But I had to be real patient with him and run the ball and run the ball and run the ball and uh, get Le'Veon in the end zone. Just to run. Yeah. And then I just got, I just punched it in from that point. Eventually, there it is. <laughs> and then fourth, fourth, third, fourth, the seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, seven, six. And then I held him to a field goal. He hits the field goal. And then I get the ball, I drive, 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 I drive. And then here at the end. He stops me. Four seconds. I had I had this is a 48-yard field goal. And with the against the wind. I mean a strong wind. So I had a chance, but this year, you see there's no arc right there, so I didn't know, I was like, and he, 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 he froze me, so that was very smart on his, on his end. But uh, there's no arrow here anymore. So I didn't know where, to, uh, where to, to hit the ball, I didn't know where the wind was blowing, I need to, need to work on that. You see this? This is, the, this, this is what they gave me there to kick at the end. And I got almost full power, I think. And then, you know, it disappeared there at the bottom, and I missed it by hair. And that was the game. 7-3. Seven, 7-9. Seven, seven, so, uh, yeah, it was a tough game. Tough loss. Still not over it because uh, week two, 
I played uh, the Giants, but um, he was in Vegas, so I got the win because I got to play the computer. But week one, um, the this this scares me right here because Matt, Madden All Pro, he's another uh, commissioner, and he beat KK. And KK is a KK is a um, multiple, multiple, multiple on top of multiple Super Bowl winner in this. I mean, one year I gave a free Madden to the person who had the most uh, um, points as far as your coach, you know, as far as getting getting awards and getting Super Bowls and whatever, and he won the Madden that year. So he's he's probably probably the elite player in our league right now, and 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 Map killed him. So I'm worried about the um, I'm worried about the real life Eagles, and I'm worried about the USFL Eagles. Um, this is this is my Cowboy Families team. They didn't get to play because you see that zero there. They, they couldn't get their schedules together. So uh, I think my Cowboys fam family played week two. We'll look at that in just a second and see who won that one. Um, the uh, Giants beat the Jaguars before he left to go to Vegas. So at least he's got he's one and one as well. Um, that's another one of the better players in the league. And, and I read my Redskins guy gave him Miles Jack. He's probably the best user. I'm crack with the, um, the, the Saints who beat the Buccaneers. Uh, gave him Miles Jack. So he's got he's probably the best user. And if you guys know how users play and how they co cover the middle of the field and do that kind of stuff, he's going to do that. And he's going to win a whole lot of football games, ladies and gentlemen. A whole lot of, lot of football games. Um, here's another one of the better players in the league. Uh, the Texans beat uh, the Patriots. He's a patient runner like myself. Um, the San Francisco 49ers beat uh, another one of the commissioners. Elihu, I, I, I take enjoyment in that loss. Um, Grams, he's another one of the great users. He has Roquan Smith, so that's another uh, team to look out for. He uh, got a win over Bo, who's also a, a very good player. Um, T. New takes the win over Cincinnati. Tough team to beat because the the computer picked a lot of Cincinnati's players. So even though you know Dom is not playing that well or has, hadn't had that much practice because he's working a lot, uh, that team is just tough. Uh, we have uh, Pittsburgh. Lost to Cleveland, Hydro. Good job, Hydro. A bomb, another one of the commissioners. Uh, lost to Mad Kansas City. Mad is another multiple Super Bowl winner, and Mad has been in this league for a long time, and he don't want to, to admit it, but his game went to elite level in the last two Maddens. I mean, he he was always good. I can't take anything away from him. He's always been a good user, but the last two years he's become elite, and he, yeah. He don't want to admit it, but yeah. He wants to say he was elite the whole time. That's why he don't want to admit it. Uh, <laughs> the, um, Seattle, he's been MIA as well. I don't know. I'll I, I play him this week. We'll see if we can find him. But the, the computer uh, did him a solid too. So a couple of guys have been kind of in MIA here and there. They've been busy with their schedules. Um, there goes my game with Carolina. I, but hey, look, I feel good by holding him to uh, – to three field goals with the offense that he's got. You know what I'm saying? I feel good about that. Uh, the Redskins uh, lost to the Cardinals. Nate, good job, Nate. Uh, appreciate that, homie. Uh, the Bears beat AJ. That was the same, I think. Um, the uh, Jets, Haggy, he lost his quarterback, though. He, had a, he lost Russell Wilson for a while. So Haggy beat uh, the Lions, who's another one of the commissioners. Haggy's the ex-commissioner. And uh, the Raiders beat the, the Rams. All right, and the Rams were the Raiders. It's confusing when I looked at it because I was about to say the Rams beat the Raiders because the guy who was the Rams was the Raiders last year. Very confusing. It's kind of like NASCAR when it, at the end of the season, the next year, everybody's in a different number <laughs> in a different car. That's how it is here. All right, let me look at some stats really fast and I'll let you go. Uh, I'll make a video about Matt. I'm still not over Matt Ryan from uh, in real life on Thursday night. So I'm gonna make my pregame video in just a second. But let me look at the stats. Not my stats, the league stats. Let 
Here we go. And Lamar Jackson is, wow, Lamar Jackson is leading in yards. You doing work out there, young calculator. Prescott is second. You see, you, Drew Brees, Brady, Jacoby Brissett. I know my guy's way down there, and I'm not even gonna look for my guy. In rushing, I will. David Johnson's first. I think he's played three games already, though. Philip Lindsay. Wow, how is he doing work? See, that's mad. See, he's doing he's doing ridiculous work with it. That, that's the sign of a that's the sign of an elite user. When you see a random person, <laughs> a young rookie like that, being being user to being one of the top running backs in the league, that's when you know you got somebody that knows what they're doing behind the sticks. And that goes me, Le'Veon, I've only played two games. I think both of us have only played two games. Uh, Devonta Freedom and Saquon Barkley, who is now in my division, who I'm upset that he's in my division. All right, and with the receiving. David Johnson, whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna have to look at that, Buccaneers. Look at this, look at this, guys. This is what we're talking about when, when, when people are um, uh, spamming a player. You got 61 attempts with David Johnson on, uh, like, I can do this with Le'Veon. You know what I'm saying? 61 attempts with him running the ball, which is fine, because, you know, Lindsey has 64, I have 60. That's fine. But then when you come over here to receiving, and he's got seven, he's leading the league in, re in receptions as well. That's gonna have to be addressed. I'll make sure the, uh, the uh, commissioners know about that. Because you know, you can just throw to your ha halfback. Run, run, throw your halfback, run, run, throw to your halfback. You can't do that, you can't do that. And let's go to defense. Uh, CJ Mosley. The leading in tackles. Do I have anyone up here? Shazier. And I'm glad they gave Shazier some really good numbers in this game. They really did have some suggestions because this might be the last game uh, he's in. He's been a he's been a monster in this game. Luke. Joiner. No, I don't have any. I don't have any cowboys. Where's my first cowboy? Who's my best cowboy? Wow. I'm holding people to no touchdowns, but I ain't got no numbers. There we go, Hitch. Hitch is my, baby, is my best cowboy. Good job, Hitchens. All right, guys, I will be playing my game sometime today, you know, and, and, and again, my game will be over on the Shango Live channel, live, uh, as soon as it gets played. All right, guys, going to, play, going to make my other video now. I'll let you. Peace.